Hello everybody, Trano here and welcome back to the Alpha Strike dev server. And we're looking at a rather important battleship that I completely missed at first. And that is the Mutsu, which is in the Japanese tech tree at rank 7, battle rating 7.0, in the battle cruiser line after the Congo. And it's rather important for one very significant reason, and that is the main armament. It has four twin 410mm guns. So you've got eight guns overall, and 410 millimeters mean they are 16-inch guns, which makes this the first 16-inch armed battleship in War Thunder. Every other battleship maxes out at 15-inch guns, and so by having this added to War Thunder, this hopefully opens the doors for 16-inch armed battleships like the Iras, the North Carolinas, the British Nelson class, etc., etc. So of course, bigger guns in theory should mean they're more powerful in some respects. So it does seem to have more penetration than other Japanese battleships, so your common shell has 256mm penetration at 5000m, and the APC-BC shell has 563mm at the same distance. If we compare that to the Congo, it has about 8mm less penetration with the uh, semi-armor piercing shell, and with the APC shell, it has about 40-30mm less penetration. But of course, if we also look at the shells themselves, I mean, the common shell doesn't seem to be all that much to write home about. It's got 48.73 kilograms of TNT equivalent filler. If we compare that to the Isays, they have about 68.64 kilograms. So even though it penetrates a little bit less, it's got less explosive filler. But then if we move on to the APC-BC shell, that has 16.38 kilograms of TNT equivalent, whereas the Isays only have 11.66 kilograms of explosive filler. So when it comes to the APC-BC rounds, the Mutsu is able to penetrate much further than other shells, and then it will have a much larger explosive content when the shell explodes. And so, yeah, it's a bit of a trade-off compared to the other vessels like the Hyuga, the Issei, and the uh, Fuso, because they all have six twin turrets, whereas this only has four. Although this is a straight upgrade from the Congo, which also only has uh, four twin turrets. Unfortunately, the secondary armament isn't all that much to write home about. It's 20 140mm cannons, which might be good against enemy ships, but unfortunately, it only fires the semi-armor-piercing ballistic capped shells, which means that it doesn't carry anything for against aircraft, not even timed fuses. Then you've got these 3-inch guns, which are officially labelled as AA guns. I can't see the ammunition for them in the modifications menu but I'm guessing they're not going to be firing any timed fuses either because of course the Mutsu is being implemented in its 1922 configuration so there is nothing for against enemy aircraft. Um, we do also have a bunch of torpedoes. Uh, battleships just seem to carry these in the past for some reason. They, they only have a max range of 7 kilometers, so I really doubt you're going to be using these unless you somehow get into a knife fight with um, enemies but Again, your secondary armament and your main guns should be able to deal with them. And you've got some more torpedoes at the rear here. And then if we look at the armour for the Citadel, it maxes out at 330mm. Uh, the side armour seems to be mostly maxing out about 304 at certain bits around the waterline. Below that it is thinner, but of course it has to go. the shell has to go through water to uh, you know, damage those areas. But it does have 330mm at the front of the um, Citadel, um, the Transverse I believe it's called in-game. And is that the same at the rear? Uh, at the rear it seems to max out about 254 but you've also got this 76.2mm uh, armour plate here. So if any shells get through there and then it will hit the uh, armour behind there which is 50.8mm. So decently well protected. And the actual deck armour is about 25mm here. It's a bit hard to tell sometimes, sometimes it's a little bit finicky. But yeah, you can see you've got a little bit more armour beneath that, though it seems to be in differing thicknesses. The turret faces are 304.8mm, and then of course it does seem to taper down as you get towards the rear of the turret. And at the back it's 190mm. The roof is about 152mm, but again tapers down. The barbettes seem to max out at 254, oh no, sorry, 305mm around some areas, but 254 for the fronts of them. And then the bridge itself is surrounded by 254mm rolled cemented armour. Then you've got various other smaller bits of armour just uh, going up the uh, pagoda tower. Although that doesn't really seem to have much of an effect in game. 
Now moving on to speed, you've got your four propellers and that gives you a top speed of 26.1 miles per hour. And we've also got a crew of 1,360. So if we compare that to the Congo, it's a little bit slower than the Congo and it has a little less crew. It's got a little bit more crew than Issei though and it is a little bit faster. And an even more stark difference with the Hyuga when it comes to speed. Though again, the crew seems to be about the same or is exactly the same. And again, faster than the Fuso, but far inferior in regards to crew numbers. Now, unfortunately, I can't take this out for a test sale just to see how it performs because I would love to test out those 16 inch guns. Uh, unfortunately, I'm unlikely to unlock any 16 inch gun armed battleships anytime soon because the furthest I am along in naval is the American tech tree and I'm barely getting into the dreadnought here i'm still stuck on the heavy cruisers unfortunately but it is very nice to see japan get in the first 16 inch armed battleships and it'd be kind of nice to see the nagatos get some love because um, they didn't really have that much success during the war nagato was pretty much the only japanese battleship that survived and uh got expended in an atomic bomb test mutsu unfortunately just exploded in harbor during the war officially because of sabotage unofficially i think it was just a uh, sometimes shells just had a habit of uh going off if it's stored improperly and the like or if fires started accidentally so it'd be nice to see the mutsu get some love um in war thunder as well but i'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the uh introduction of 16 inch armed battleships do you think this is going to be a massive change to war thunder or do you think this is just going to be a sort of incremental upgrade from the previous battleships I'd like to hear your comments below. Anyway, just a quick video for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've been Toreno, and I'll see you next time.